What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of my Jurassic Park 30 build. Last we left off we got the basic dinosaurs from uh, the Jurassic Park movies and Compsignathus and Tylosaurus and Pteranodon. So all together we've got about 10 of 17 species that were initially in Jurassic Park. They're not necessarily in the movies, but they're in the park itself. So I got a list right here. Tyrannosaurus Rex, we've got. Velociraptor we have, Dilophosaurus we have, Parasaurolophus, Brachiosaurus, Gallimimus, Triceratops, Pteranodon, Tylosaurus, and Compsognathus, all of which we have. And next up we have Troodon, Herrerasaurus, Metriacanthosaurus, Baryonyx, Segisaurus, Apatosaurus, and Stegosaurus. We have mostly carnivores to get through. I mean some herbivores, but mostly carnivores. And what we're going to do is we are going to add those in, finish up the tour and whatnot. First things first, we're going to... Go ahead and try to make the um, Apatosaurus, Gallimimus, and Stegosaurus enclosure. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to have something go all the way over here. We need some space between the enclosures that people can just view the dinosaurs in. And I'll probably try to make them look nice, like maybe add some trees here. That's what I should probably do. Add some trees here, maybe add some shrubbery here, and then maybe add some water here. That way it looks halfway decent anyway. Alright, so moving on to the next enclosure. Apatosaurus, Gallimimus, and Stegosaurus. That way there we at least have a bunch of herbivores. Alright, we got that. That should be big enough for all of them to just run around, especially the Gallimimus, because they need a lot of space to run around. We're going to add a bunch of trees. There we go, just to fill this in with decorations. And maybe some tall plant life for the sauropods. There we go. That looks good. Actually, let me let me decorate this real quick. I have an idea for a decoration. The bathroom that Donald Gennaro hid in. Yeah, that's it right there. There we go. We got the classic bathroom here. All right. And now we throw in Apatosaurus, Gallimimus, and Stegosaurus. All right, so Apatosaurus would be right here. That's Apatosaurus done. Let's get Gallimimus. And we gotta go with the 1993 skin for the Gallimimus. And finally, Stegosaurus. And for this guy, we have to go for the Lost World skin. All right, we got them all. All right, since Gallimimus is first, let's um, release them first. There we go, we got the Gallimimuses. And while we wait for the Gallimimus to be released, let's decorate the park a bit. So, we got buildings right here. This is actually looking really nice. But I'd like to get some decorating done. So, if we go into decorations, there should be some Jurassic Park decorations. There we go, we got Mr. DNA, which we can put right at the entrance. So you'll be greeted by Mr. DNA. Alright, and let's throw in this here and this here. There we go. We've got some tables and chairs for over here anyway. And then for the next hotel, we should probably do the same thing. So then people can, you know, sit down, have a cup of coffee, eat some, eat some dinner, or whatever they want to do. Alright, we got a hotel here, so let's put some tables and chairs over here. And then you got stuff over here, so let's put some tables and chairs over here. Oh, the guests disappear when you place them down. Anywhere else? Do we have any more amenities? We do have a hotel. We should probably place some tables and chairs here. There we go. All right. We got the tables and chairs ready to go. Um, maybe we should put some, like, planters 
Hold on, let's see what's in high demand. Oh, we got an emergency bunker in high demand, so let's throw in an emergency bunker. There we go. What about... Alright, let's see. Anywhere else in need of one? No, everywhere else seems fine. What about bathrooms? Seems fine. I'm not bothering with transport. Amenities are in high demand, so we might as well throw some amenities in here. Alright, that's everyone completely satisfied. Now let's decorate this with some tables and chairs. And then let's put some tables and chairs over here. And maybe put some, like, uh, some planters or something, like over here. To make the place look a little more decent anyway. So maybe right here. Yeah, that that's looking good. That's looking good. We're keeping it Jurassic Park. There we go. Maybe keep this hatchery at least a little hidden. Looks like the Gallimimus are done, so let's release the Apatosaurs. And then we'll release the Stegosaurs afterwards. Looking good. It's looking good, I guess. Alright, the Apatosaurs are done. Let's release the Stegosaurs. While we wait, let's go into the next enclosure. So for the next enclosure, that's under Jurassic World, I want Jurassic Park. There we go. It's still a work in progress, this park. But we're slowly getting there. Alright, moving on to the next enclosure. I'm thinking this one will be Baryonyx. Alright, let's um, get a Piscivore feeder for here. We'll get a few of them. And then let's get Baryonyx. Alright, Baryonyx would be all the way up here. There it is, Baryonyx. Alright, I guess we'll go with randomized color patterns. If we end up getting a couple of the Camp Cretaceous Baryonyx, then that's totally fine. Like I said, it's not 100% accurate. Okay, we did get a Chaos, a Limbo, and a Grim. We actually got all three. What were the chances of that? They were very slim. Very slim. What were the chances of that? So we got four more to go, I believe. We got three over here and one over here. So yeah, I think four more. We got Troodon, Herrerasaurus, Metricanthosaurus, and Segisaurus. Which, by the way, I will be using Coelophysis as a substitute, since we don't have Segisaurus in the game. Of course I could turn to mods, but what's the point? Because I don't really typically care for mods. I kind of like the real deal, if you know what I mean. So, are the Stegosaurs... Yep, the Stegosaurs are done. We can start releasing the Baryonyx. I would have been happy with just one, or maybe two, but all three? Wow, okay. Alright. So we got the Troodon, so only three more to go. It'll be tight, but I think we can do it. So at least you'll have your little gap between enclosures to just breathe and whatnot. Alright, let's um, get Metricanthosaurus going. And then maybe next episode, I'll give you guys a tour of the park, because this will pretty much be done. All I'll have to do now pretty much is decorate. Oh wait, there's also Proceratosaurus. I completely forgot about that. Um, so yeah, three more enclosures. But it looks like we might run out of room. If worse comes to worse, we can always put one enclosure on one side and one enclosure on the other. We've still got Herrerasaurus... Proceratosaurus and um, Segisaurus to get through. You know, we can always have Segisaurus because Coelophysis gets along with a lot of carnivores, so we can always have Coelophysis share an enclosure with another carnivore. We can always do that. And then let's get the, I guess, Herrerasaurus and Segisaurus enclosure. And now all we need is Proceratosaurus. All right, our final enclosure. Mr. Hammond, I think we're back in business. Minus the raptor attack. I love that scene. Just when you think everything's okay, when you say, Mr. Hammond, I think we're back in business, a raptor jumps up behind you. That's hilarious. And scary at the same time. Alright, Baryonyx is still being unloaded. 
Let's get all the other carnivores ready to pass the time. So for Segisaurus, we're using Coelophysis as a substitute. And then we also need Herrerasaurus. Let's grab that. And that'll be, I'm thinking, every single dinosaur in Jurassic Park. And then next episode, I will give you a tour of the place. There we go. We've got every single dinosaur in the... Oh, and Metricanthosaurus. All right, that's Coelophysis done. Let's work on, or sorry, Baryonyx. Let's work on Metricanthosaurus. There we go. That's them done. Let's work on Troodon next. So that's going to be in the enclosure next to Baryonyx. Amenities are in high demand over here, so let's, I guess, throw some amenities down. We'll put some, uh... Medium. We'll put medium amenities down. We'll put a shopping here. Next to that, we will put a drink. And then next to that, we will put a food. Transport rating low. Well, I have no intention on putting any monorails, so stop complaining. Or complain all you want. I really don't care. No monorails. No Jurassic World elements other than the amenities. We're trying to keep this Jurassic Park. There we go. Everyone's satisfied there. And as for the food, how come the small ones have thatched ceilings? That kind of looks like a Jurassic Park amenity, which is pretty awesome. They're still releasing the Troodons, so that should be everyone satisfied other than transport. I wonder, can you... is there like a... something in the Jurassic Park section I could use? Maybe a zip line? That's under attractions, yep. So maybe a zip line? Does that at least... Okay, it at least helps with transport. That's good anyway. I can just use zip lines for the transport. I mean, maybe we should have zip lines going back as well. Yeah, we should have zip lines going back. You go all the way over here. We'll have one going over here. This is a cool idea, having zip lines get you to where you need to go faster. And the good thing about it is, there's Jurassic Park transport amenities. So, 97%. Okay, so the zip lines at least count as transport. I actually don't have to use monorails, which is really good. I like that. Alright, are the Troodons done yet? They are. Let's release the Metricanthosaurs. We got Troodons and, uh... Alright, we've got Metricanthosaurus, Herrerasaurus, and Segisaurus, and Proceratosaurus will go in here. At least from the zipline, you'll get a good view of the, uh, Tylosaurus from the zipline. That's good anyway. And maybe some of the dinosaurs, you can see some of them. We should probably decorate this bit. With what exactly? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a bunch of water. You know. Maybe some water. And, oh, I know. How about a bunch of trees? And who knows, maybe I might add a secret attraction or something. Who knows? Alright, I think it's looking really good. Everything's looking good. Alright, so the... It looks like the Metricanthosaurs are done. So let's move on to the Herrerasaurs and the Segisaurs. So yeah, our Jurassic Park is really coming along. It really is. We've got the control center with some offices that I probably cannot go in. <laughs> I can't even walk up the stairs, that's a shame. I wish you could be able to walk into the buildings. That would be cool if you could. Like, if I open this door, it would take me inside the building, you know? Instead of doing this. I don't want to do this. I want to go inside the building. We've got zip lines. We've pretty much got everything we need. So, alright. Everyone should be happy with everything. Everything's going well. Tylosaurus is still the star dinosaur. 
We've got more guests coming into the park. Okay, we just got Segisaurus and one more dinosaur after this, and then it'll be the park completed. That only took two parts, but I'll do a third part that's pretty much the tour of the entire Jurassic Park and whatnot. All right, and that's the last of the Coelophysis, or Segisaurus, sorry, which means we can now release Proceratosaurus. With that, I think that's going to have to wrap it up for this video. I'll finish up over here off camera, and next episode, I'll give you guys a park tour. But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. So long.